quick little video. Um, I upgraded my Subaru to these Subaru OEM four pop front uh, brakes. And one of the really cool things about brake calipers that are set up like this is you could change the pads very quickly without actually having removed the caliper. So I just kind of want to demonstrate how you basically load the pads into this style caliper. So, right, typically um, when you're changing pads, you either have to undo the bolts in the back to kind of remove the whole caliper, or there's bolts on some, depending on the setup, where you can remove like the outside carrier piece, change the pads, and then reassemble that on like the, the part where the guide pins are. This is super, super um, simple. Um, so you'll see there's this like little spring wire here. This is actually a little retainer that the ends of the wire sit in little tiny holes that go into these guide pin, these pins here. So if you see, there's a pin and this is the head of the pin right here. And there's the head of one up here. Um, so the way this starts is we, we remove the wire from the hole at, at each end of the pin, right? And the wire just went flying. Um, and then these pins just slide out. So if you see, I just slid that one out. So we'll start with the top one. Um, so, and I'll show you why. So these pins come right out and that clip is spring loaded and is applying pressure to where the pads. There's the little hole that that wire uh, goes into to actually secure this pin. And you can see the pin has one larger size head to catch here. So with the pins removed, in that sheet metal retainer that just went flying <laughs> removed, we could actually remove the lower pin, okay? And now the pads just come right up. And this is the inner pad, and this is the outer pad. And that's it. So when the brake, when you wanna replace your pad, so here's the pad, and notice the pad has holes in the corner, because actually those pins go through those holes. Um, so if I'm going to replace my pad, so I would go in with the, my next set, slide them in. I just fired that one in way too far. Um, come up here. Okay, grab it. So it's... Okay. So what you do is come in with one pin. Start on the outside, pin goes through, goes through the hole in the pad, and you can see this hole here. I'm gonna go through that hole at the bottom corner of the pad, so I gotta line it up, and then it went through all the way through, okay? So now, we do the same thing. Here's that spring retainer that went flying earlier. So if you look at it, it has this hook piece, so the hook kind of hooks on that one and then you swing it up and these pieces here apply pressure to the pad and then this one will hook onto the top pin. So we will install the top pin. So again, gotta line up the hole. You'll see that this one's in a little, so we gotta kinda help that out. At the same time as hook that guy on there. and through it went. So now the last piece is, remember that wire retainer that went flying. You just come in and here's a better look at that wire retainer. So it has two bent ends, which go into the holes in the pin. And then this little hook in the middle, which goes into this hole right here, which you can see to locate it. So that goes into that hole like that. So you may need to take like a little pick like this to kind of index the hole in the right location on these. Okay, so I'm using the little pick to index the hole on the retaining spring, put it in, hooked it in the center there, and then put this one right there. And our caliper is loaded.